good morning so we're starting up a maintenance vlog for today as you guys saw i went to laser this morning and then i also have everything else to do i have to get i have to do something about this hair you guys sorry for this hair i literally just took my braids out and put my hair in a bun and this is what it's giving i got a nail appointment for the first of the month i still have to book my lash appointment i need to do that today and that's pretty much it nails done i need to get my hair done do my lashes and yeah my laser that's pretty much it so about laser let me just give you guys an update because last time that i talked to you guys i think was it like i think it was my third session or i don't know maybe even my fourth but i was basically telling you guys that i like see no results and i don't know why also i was telling you guys how like it hurts so much i get my underarms and my brazilian area lasered and my underarms are fine like my underarms are so quick everything passes like so fast like yeah it does the pinch a little bit but it's like bearable but i feel like when it comes to like my downstairs area like it just hurts so much to the point where i feel like it's like kind of unbearable so i went to shoppers they gave me this and this is like the affordable option because there was another numbing cream which was a lot stronger but it was 70 dollars I was like, no, I'm not going to buy that. So this was like, I think $12 or something or maybe $8. And so I got this. It's not very strong. I guess it helps a little bit. But anywho, when I got to laser, I was telling the lady that I did apply numbing cream to like my down there area. And she was like, oh my God, you're not supposed to do that. Like, that's a really big no. And I was like, what? What do you mean? Like, I talked to the last girl and she was like, it's fine. Apparently, she was telling me like, that's a really big deal. You're not supposed to apply numbing cream because you're not going to be able to feel anything. And because darker skin tones are a lot more sensitive to laser i'm not going to be able to know if like my skin is burning by example basically she ended up doing my laser but on like the lowest setting possible because i had applied the numbing cream it still hurts so much that's not like so confused i don't know if it's like if it's just me but i've been able to get waxes with like no issue so i don't know why laser is like really a pain in the ass for me to the point where i'm like not even really considering continuing my um my sessions but another reason why i'm considering not continuing my sessions is i still have not seen that great of results which is crazy this was my fifth session i'm pretty sure and i will say that my hair does feel weaker but my hair still grows like i still could grow quite a lot of hair so i'm very confused and i was basically just talking to them about this today and they were being really nice about it but at the same time it's like i don't need you guys to be nice about it i need you guys to like help me figure this out because i don't want to continue coming here if i'm not going to see results with that being said i did pay for the package in full so i paid for eight sessions in full i could probably ask them for a refund but something tells me it's gonna be really hard to get a refund out of them like they don't seem like the type of people who give out refunds i want you guys to let me know like what your experience is with laser because this is my fifth session you guys like i feel like i should be able to see some results at this point like fifth session really like like I said, my hair does feel weaker, but I feel like the results that I'm seeing is results that I should have been seeing at my like first or second session. It's annoying me because every time I go there, I go through like so much pain. Like, is it even worth it at this point? But now I need to do something about my hair because I'm filming a Zara haul tomorrow. the shower 
So as usual, I'm just going to um, divide everything into four sections. And then I'm going to blow dry with the this blow dryer thing from Revlon. Every time I use this, I actually like wash it. What I do is like I go in with soap and a baby hair brush and I just kind of brush in between like the bristles. And like my sisters use this. And I know they, they don't use it when their hair is like completely clean. Every time I want to use it, it's like a little bit dirty. So you can see there's like, it's pretty clean now. And then I'll actually just like run it under water. Uh, obviously, I'll try not to get the water like in the slits or whatever. So I try to just like have the water fall here. And then when I'm washing this side, I'll like have the water fall on this side. And then I just leave it to dry. Or you can like turn it on to dry actually. So I'm just going to go in and put a little bit more water in it because another tip. Um, your hair just always blow dries better when it's wet. So I do re-wet my hair if it's dried down. I'm going to be using three products. So the Chi Iron Luxury Garden. This is the Black Seed Oil Blow Dry Cream. So I use this, this. You know what I hate sometimes about my sisters using my stuff? Like they'll bring back this stuff with like oil all over it. And then I'm going to be use a little bit of body silk as well. Okay guys, so I thought I'd come on and answer a question that I get asked all the time and something tells me maybe some of you guys are going to ask this question in the comments down below. So I thought I'd get ahead of the curve and that question is, how do I grow my hair? I think I've addressed this on TikTok but not here on YouTube, so I'm going to give you guys a quick version. So it really comes down to two things for me. It's for one, partly genetics, I'm not going to lie, and for two, it comes down to just me wearing... I'm going to call it no manipulation hairstyles, not low manipulation, but literally no manipulation. And that's just wigs. So wearing wigs has been like the best thing in terms of hair growth for me, because if you think about it, I'm just putting my hair in braids and then putting a wig on top of the braids and not touching my hair whatsoever. I will leave my braids in for like two months, to be completely honest with you guys. And that is the best thing for hair growth um, for me. Because it just, I'm just not touching my hair whatsoever. So yeah, that's my two cents on that. And that's what I always recommend to those who are trying to grow their hair. Is just put your hair in a style where you are not going to touch it. Where you can kind of just leave it alone. Almost forget about it. And most likely your hair will grow. Alright guys, I am done straightening my hair. And this is what it looks like. This was honestly such a process. I kind of like took a bunch of breaks. And so it's now nighttime and I'm super tired. And I'm just about to go to sleep. It is a bit poofy on the top, but I don't mind it. Um, I'm not going to go in and like try to get it as straight as possible. Because I know that I'm going to style it in a ponytail most likely tomorrow. I think I'm just going to wrap my hair and go to sleep. Because... I'm so tired. Hey guys, so I'm about to head in to get my nails done. I'm super excited because my nails look absolutely horrible. As you guys can see, my nails are so grown out. I think I showed you guys earlier. And not only are my nails so grown out, look at my thumb. It's completely broken off. My nose just looks terrible. Of course, you guys do not come for my lashes. I see how terrible they look. I've been actually picking at them, which is why they look even worse now than they did when I talk to you guys a couple days ago i'm about to head in i think what i'm gonna go for today is like an almond shape nail i always get square nails like every time i come to the, come to get my nails done whether it's short nails or long nails i always get super squared off nails but i'm going for something different today we're going for you know grown classy girl look for the summertime i'm taking inspo from kyra ominique she did a almond shape with like a chrome tip i'm gonna insert a picture but that looks so bomb so i'm gonna try and do something similar to that Just run it up 
pretty mixed up. Fuck this match, they ain't no bad. Blood and blood and murder. There ain't no second chance. Okay guys, I'm a little bit sick. You guys can probably tell by my voice and like my nose. It's not COVID or anything like that. I'm just really congested. I'm going to go get my lashes done today. Oh my god, I am obsessed with my nails. Like I feel like I made such a good decision going for the look that I did. And you know, I was a little bit nervous about doing the whole almond shape, but I feel like this looks really, really good. Like I feel like this might be my new shape. I just put my hair in a ponytail as per usual. The front of my hair is already like reverting back. The front of my hair is always like the most poofy obviously because it's less damaged. Like, But yeah, you guys, I've been considering perming my hair. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like people are always like, no, don't perm your hair. But I'm like, why not though? Like seriously, then why not? Because right now I have like pretty much two textures in my hair. And I feel like that leads to breakage. But anywho, I'm headed out to my lash appointment right now. As you guys can see, my lashes really need to get done. I have like pretty much no lashes left. So, see you guys when I get there. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stay. For you every time I try to resist We can get away Bum cheese, bitch, feels in and every day All I wanna hear is an episode that we play Sitting right next to you lashes are looking like now i think she did a really good job this time because my lashes do not look too overpowering sometimes on the first day that i get my lashes done they're just a little bit too extra for my liking but i feel like these are perfect so everything is complete now i got my lashes done so thank you so much to you guys if you guys stayed until the end this maintenance vlog is complete i'll see you guys in the next one